All right, guys, another episode. Outdoors with T. Tommy here. You already know what it's about. We found those morels, baby. We were actually looking. We found uh, what I believe is mica, maybe honey mushrooms. I'm not sure which. I'm going to do some research. So we're doing a little extra looking, and my buddy Josh here is the man. Come out here, and then all of a sudden, he's out telling me, oh, I got a morel right here. Not very far from our mica. And I know the sun's kind of on it, but it's right there in the middle of the screen. And then I start looking, and I'm like, oh, crap, I got a morel too. And then next thing you know, I realize it's actually three. So, boom. And we got these mushrooms growing here and here. We haven't hunted too much more. So I thought I'd put you on screen. There's another morel. Fresh find for you guys. Boom. So we're going to take our time. I'm really going to be careful moving my boot now because I definitely walked by that guy from that side. And I didn't see it at all because of the bark. So you never know when you're going to come across a mushroom just like Josh was telling me a little bit ago it always pays off to stop turn around and look at your backside because you get a different angle and things will pop out at you that weren't even there before so he's taught me a lot today actually I thought I knew what I was doing and uh, it just goes to show you there's always knowledge to be gained folks Ever you're out here doing this. Another cool thing he taught me while we were out here. This whole field's covered in these raspberry. And I've always thought that those were thorns. Come to find out the raspberry is one of my favorite fruits. I'm going to be coming and checking that out too. I've never harvested my own wild raspberries. I'm excited to give that a try. My guide taking me to a new spot tells me that they'll be popping. We're out here pretty early, guys, and believe it or not, they're popping. We got the proof. Oh, I got another one. Josh is on one with the sniffer. He's good, guys. He's got some eyes. I'm coming your way, but taking my time so we can get something more on screen for these folks. We got another one of those mushrooms. This is actually the first oh, one I've one seen oh. that made me want to check out the area. Right of Josh has got one here to the right of me. Oh, yeah. Nice eye, Josh. Look at that guy, guys. Nice tall yellow. Sun makes it hard for me to see it sometimes, so I apologize, y'all. But I think that's picking up, isn't it? Oh yeah, nice eye. I uh, got my pack of smokes here. I'm gonna drop that there, Josh, so we can mark your mushrooms, so you don't get scared of moving too far. Well, I know there's some more up in here. Just gotta take my time and look, do circles, and then walk around, turn around. He says, we get into a certain area and he stops and looks at me and goes, you smell that sweetness in there? I say, yeah, actually I do. Cause that's morels. I was like, really? I've never smelled them before. Smells like a licorice. He thinks they smell licorice-y, FYI, you guys. I have always, you know, it being a mushroom and all, never smelling one before and confirming the smell, would assume it was an earthly smell. More, uh, I don't know, musky, musty, I don't know how to put it. Dirt smell. But come to find out, that sweet smell leads to morels, you guys. I'm walking by him. Josh is my eyes. He knows what he's doing down underneath there. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off here. I got some real hunting to do. I'm going to take my time. And uh, hopefully I... Got some more stuff to load up for y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you later. Happy hunting.